I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be just going off memory, but I'm pretty sure that the newer editions of this book have more solved problems, I think. This says, including 974 solved problems, completely solved in detail. Uh, this is the Shams Outline, Theory and Problems of Calculus. It's Differential and Integral Calculus by Frank Idis Jr. And this is probably the first edition, because um, I probably purpose, I've had this a long time. Yeah, 1950. Yeah, wow, wow. This is really old. Carlisle, Pennsylvania, 1950. The, the purpose of this book is to provide students of elementary calculus with a collection of carefully solved representative problems. A total of 974 solved problems of varying degrees of difficulty is included. Cool. So here you see the topics. So you can see everything it contains. It's just basically calculus. It does have some stuff that you would see in Calc 1 and Calc 2 I'm seeing so far. So I see topics from Calc 1 and Calc 2. And then uh, more Calc 2 topics here. This is all Calc 2 type stuff. Then we're going to go to series. Yep, yep. Oh, here we go. Multivariable stuff. So it does have some Calculus 3 as well. Some. Doesn't have everything, but it has some. It's got a lot of stuff. It's got, you know, directional derivatives. It's pretty cool. And here's the book. It's really old. The typesetting is old. I don't know if you get newer editions, if the typesetting is, like, nicer. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description uh, in case you want to check out this book. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So really basic stuff here, right? The set of real numbers consists of the rationals, okay, integers, and common fractions. Yep. Let's see what the next line says. The absolute or numerical value, okay, the absolute value of n of a real number n is defined as, okay, 0 if it's 0, n if n is positive, negative n if n is negative. That's, an, that's a good way to do it. You could certainly define it that way. Um, you can also use a, a, a weak inequality. You can say it's... Uh, it's going to be n if n is greater than or equal to n, and it'll be negative n if n is less than zero. You could do that, um, but this is just another simple way to do it, perhaps easier for someone who is not uh, fluent yet with inequalities. Uh, a real variable, a constant, function of a variable. So different approaches, different explanations. That's one of the nice things about books. You know, you, you might never think to do it that way, or you've probably seen it, but you don't typically define absolute value that way, and then you read this and you're like, oh, yeah, you could do it that way too. So, you know, you're already learning something even from the first sentence, uh, first, first few sentences. Solve problems. Oh, these look fun. I feel like I've done a lot of these exercises. I think I actually have. Mm hmm. I've done a lot of these actually. I, don't know, I wonder if that was me who circled them, but I know I've done a lot of these problems. I mean, here's one of my books. Typically what I'll do is I'll pick up a book and I'll just randomly look up books. And I, I've probably I've picked this one up multiple times to look at it. And um, I, I think it's a very good book. It's got a really good layout, as you can see here. And then it's got the solve problems. So you can practice what you just learned. We've got some limits. You solve these by factoring, oh, which they're doing here. Yep. Then chapter three is the derivative. So it just keeps going. It's just a nice, solid book. I'm going to give it a whiff here. Just whiff. Ah, awesome book. Awesome book for learning calculus. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Um, I probably didn't pay too much for it because it's an old, old book. I also have calculus courses. That's right. I actually have courses with me. Uh, you know, I make courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, use my website, mathsorcerer.com. And I've got Calculus 1, 2, and 3 courses, so check them all out if you want to learn calculus. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.